co-worker. She's actually a CCNA instructor and she's been doing this for over 30 years. Real networking type work, but yeah, it's it's uh, a part of the job. Right alongside me, like the little brother, you know? So yeah, I got you. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. It is a Monday. Whoops. <laughs> Too much waste. It's a Monday morning. I'm getting ready to start my day. For the most part, I'm going to be working from home today. Don't know what else I'm going to be getting into. I'm going to go check the queue to see what um, tickets I can work on today. And um, yeah. So we're just having our. Um, Walker, what is it? 9 a.m. stand up. So, this is basically a meeting we have every day saying what we're going to be getting into, uh, what we have planned for the day. Basically, it's like a daily scrum. So, let me finish this it's, meeting and then uh, see what else we're going to do. Yeah, so checkpoint training in the call with Peter. I have a question in regards. So as you know, the firewall team is kind of our job to to ask questions mm -hmm. because we, you know, we're kind of like the last line of defense, yeah. um, or well, first line of defense really. Uh, Work day is done. Today I just worked from home. I didn't have to go anywhere. So things I did today, uh, had a few meetings. Um, I was able to book my um, checkpoint certification course and the exam, at least get the exam voucher, but I didn't book the exam yet. So first I made a schedule today on which order I'm gonna go ahead and take these exams. So first I knew I had to take the CCSA, the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator, and I had to take that one, and of course the CCNA. I'm not able to start working and doing network security stuff, working with the firewalls and VPNs and stuff until I get the checkpoint certification. So the checkpoint certification is going to be the first one that I take, and I booked the course for April 22nd. So April 22nd is when I'm going to start. It's a Three day course, um, you go through all checkpoint stuff, and then I want to book the um, exam like two weeks after just so that I can review all of the information that I'm going to get throughout that um, training course. And then I should be comfortable enough to take that exam and pass it. Um, my supervisor recommended that I also take the CCSE, which is another step up in checkpoint certifications. And I think that one is the certified. Checkpoint Certified Security Expert. Yeah, so that's what that one is. Um, the CCNA gave myself like five weeks to study for the CCNA. Um, and then take the CCNA in mid-July. And now I'm gonna go to the gym. And then, I don't know yet, we'll see. But I'll be back. Good morning, good morning. It's a Tuesday morning. I am on site today. I forgot my, um, mic so hopefully the sound quality isn't too bad but right now we have to um, schedule some outages for some of the switches that we're going to be removing from this data center and installing some new ones like the um, C9300s that I was telling you guys about um, so we're going to make a document um, and then send that ticket off to, to get the approval so that we can get like two hours of an outage we don't need all of that but it's good to um, ask for way more than you actually need so we're going to do that today and then I also have some overtime that I have to do again today for some other smaller um, land rooms we're going to be putting in some new switches again uh, I think we have like three rooms to do so yeah today is going to be a packed day it's a Tuesday so let's get it now is I'm going to trace some fibers and uh, making sure the labels are correct on them. Some of these labels are 
confusing as hell but we're you know, just having to trace them manually for the ones that aren't properly labeled and then we're adding them to the spreadsheet and then we're just adding them to the spreadsheet and basically changing the labels for what they're going to be on the new uh, 9606 switches that were not installed but that's going to be taking over for these old Nexus um, switches so that's basically what I'm doing right now Today is a Wednesday morning. It's going to be a work from home day. Um, what I'm going to do today is finish up that um, that spreadsheet that we started yesterday, um, creating the um, template for the labels that we're going to be um, making in the upcoming weeks. Because I think in next month, no, like sorry, in May. We're going to be, we have this big outage where we're going to actually be removing a bunch of the old um, fibers that is currently inside that data center and then we're going to be changing them over to some new um i think we're going to be using single mode fiber but yeah so we're creating the labels and stuff ahead of time and then i think next week we're but we're doing this so that we can order the correct length of fibers that we're going to need to connect the new switches and stuff um so I think we're going to order those, place the order th tomorrow or Friday and then they'll probably be here like in a couple of weeks and then we're going to go ahead and run those fibers but not connect them, just run them so that they'll be hanging and then put the labels on them and then when we do have that um, outage window then we're just going to basically unplug and plug and unplug and plug and so yeah that's what I'm doing today is trying to finish up that spreadsheet. It's um, that's basically it. It's gonna be a tedious day doing all of that spreadsheet work, but so like no real networking type work. But yeah, it's it's uh, a part of the job. Like I find, I don't know how it is in other companies uh, being a network tech or network engineer, but I I think from what I can understand, some spaces like if you're a network um, engineer, you really don't um, go out in the field like how we do it like so how it is here um, you would go out replace equipment put in new equipment do big overhauls and manually install switches and stuff so and plus you're the one that's actually going to be configuring these switches and doing all of the troubleshooting and stuff like that I guess maybe that's like a network architect job that sits back and designs all of those things but then again we do that as well so I don't know it's just different but I like it but it's nice so yeah that's my day. Um, I don't know if I'll record any more today because it's going to be pretty boring. And I'm talking a lot, so maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. So today is Thursday. Um, today, the objectives that we have to do today is um, a spreadsheet that I was creating yesterday. We're actually going to put in the order for those fibers so that they can come sometime next month. And then we're also going to get uh, replace two of the switches in this data center. Uh, with the same um, 9300s. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how that goes. So we're gonna uh, configure those by how I was mentioning in the previous video, how we would configure switches. So we're actually gonna do two of those switches today and then install them, um, but not actually power them up and connect them um, in the data center. So we're just gonna configure them at the um, office and then bring them over here and install them in the racks and leave them there for that. But that's basically what I have planned for today other than that I don't know we'll see what else we get into but you guys will be here right alongside me like the little brother you know so yeah I got you All right, so today is Friday, the end of the work week. I'm heading back um, to the office now. We're going to configure one more switch, and then we're going to go and lock them up in the data center. 
so that's the plan for today. I think today is going to be a short day for me. I'll probably be done by maybe 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, we'll be back home. And then we'll wrap this work week up. Yeah, so this is basically a, a full week of what it's actually like to be a network tech um, from meetings to planning and just working. So hopefully you guys um, find this one interesting or it actually helps in understanding what it is to actually be a network tech on the day to day. Um, and every week isn't going to be the same, but this is just one week. Um, but the good thing is you're always doing something, always learning. Uh, this week I learned a lot um, from my coworker. She's actually a CCNA instructor and she's been doing this for over 30 years. So yeah, I've been picking her brain as much as I can. Uh, <laughs> she probably annoyed me by now. <laughs> no, she says she has a lot of patience. She's been doing it for 30 years. So she is very patient and people getting up to speed and learning what they need to learn. So yeah. But it's nice having her around. I can ask her things like CCNA related and just working with her and having her uh, configure the switches and teach me some shortcuts and stuff like that or what to actually do. Oops. And things on what to actually do and how to troubleshoot uh, working on these switches. It was pretty neat. So yeah, I'm driving up to work now, but I'll see you in a bit. Good. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys how we're actually going to stack these two switches because today we didn't even get to go to the data center to actually install this but i just figured i'd record this to give you guys a little bit of an example on how we would stack these switches all right so friday is done we didn't get to do that um racking up those switches we got pulled into a bunch of other meetings so we didn't get time to do that um, so that's pushed off to tuesday now so but that's my work week um just did a lot of work it's a lot of cabling a lot of up and down, a lot of meetings, um, but still get some hands-on work. So that's pretty good. And like every day I'm learning something new thanks to this, uh, my, the senior tech that works with me. So that's all beautiful. And so that's basically a week in my life. Um, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, the next video for sure is going to be about um, Rombi. I'm going to actually recorded the video already. I'm just going to release it. It's going to be the next one I release, so look out for that one. Uh, and then I'll look for you guys' feedback on that. But that's all I got for you right now. It's time to go to the gym and just come back and do some more work. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.